and old Duluth first, because I knew that pretty well, inside and out. That's an understatement. That's an understatement, you're right. And so then I started with the other side, and that was hard, because the painting I was working from had OH bows, and I'd already painted it on this side. But I knew that OH bows sold out to Foxworth Cafe. Y'all, most of y'all didn't know that. But now you do, because I went ahead and put Foxworth Cafe mm -hmm. right by there. So that picture is either in the 40s or 50s or a combination of both. Mm -hmm. Then when I started on the car tags, I tried to think some reasonable thing, so I put my phone number. <laughs> when, I, when I was little, 109J2. Now, Captain doesn't remember that, but I remember. <laughs> she remembers a lot more than I do, so I'm proud of that. And then I put uh, a, a two different tags. I noticed that I think it was 46 had a tag that said Peach State, and the other tag said Georgia, 47 said Georgia. So I did do a little research, but not much. There's probably lots of errors, but you can look around and find them. But it's too late to tell me. I don't want to hear one word. Artistic privilege. Yes, it's art. It is not necessarily historical. But I am. <laughs> So, and this is acrylic. Oh. And, oh, I meant to bring it in. I may have it in this back here. Instead of putting out like you do to put a painting on a palette, I had to mix it in great big old things like this. You know, they would hold a quart or so, for the beginning part anyway. The bricks and all this, I had to have a huge amounts of paint. And which, I, I learned that from Melody Shell. She, she did murals everywhere, and I helped her with uh, one at Gwinnett Tech and our church. Our church. And our church. I helped her with the ones at the church. So anyway, I don't know how she ever did what she did. But I learned a lot from her, and uh, so I was able to do these. I tried to talk Melanie into doing them, but I didn't have any luck. <laughs> I ended up having to do them myself. <laughs> I appreciate everybody being here. And if you want to, after we leave here, we will go over to the railway museum and we'll see the original one that got me in trouble here. <laughs> That's exactly right. Got her in trouble. We are so thrilled to have Anne do these wonderful things for us. And the depot, as you can see, we've expanded on and keeping y'all's history alive. If you get an opportunity, if you go around the back side of this mural, you'll notice the brick program. The brick program has different colors of bricks in it because it is her original mural that was on the Parsons building. So not only is her murals here, but just on the other side of the wall, her mural still lives. So history is still alive here in Duluth. We are very, very proud of that. <laughs> so next thing we're on our face, we're gonna keep y'all going. We've got refreshments. If anybody gets too hot here, we've got water here for you. But otherwise, can we get everybody to meet us in the main building at the Southeastern Railway where we can get her to sign another mural that she did. <laughs> So if y'all will just meet us down that way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.